Thank you, Lord. Yeah. 
thank you for your fire, God, that's in this place today. You're so good, Lord. You don't withhold anything from us. The times I've called your name some broken night You showed up and patched me up like you do every time I am so thankful that you keep coming around It ain't no way you'll ever let me down Good God Almighty, I hope you'll find You say your love goes on forever, that your mercy never stops. So why would I assume you be somebody that you're not? Like sun in the morning, I know you're gonna be there every day. So what on earth could make me be afraid? together 
with one agenda and it is you alone one agenda and it is you alone one agenda and it is you alone even so come
the name that is above every name. Every name. Jesus is our King. Yes. Lift your hands before Him. Bless Him. Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for sending Jesus to die for us at Calvary. Lord Jesus, you're raised from the dead, seated at the right hand of our Heavenly Father. We're seated there with you in Christ. We bless you. We give you glory. Thank you, Father, for the Holy Ghost. He's working through us, accomplishing your will and purpose in the earth. We bless you. We give you glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Now just go ahead and bless him. We're about to receive communion. Okay, if for some reason when you came in the room you did not receive your communion elements, uh, now would be a good time for you to go back and pick those up off the tables in the rear. I believe that's where they are. Hallelujah. God is good. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Wonderful to be here today. Hallelujah. You know, there was a time when Jesus met with a group of his disciples. It's recorded in the Gospel of John. He said that you're going to have to eat my flesh and drink my blood. And uh, they got offended at him. Walked away. And then Jesus said to Peter, he said, well, aren't you going to go too? And he said, Lord, where would we go? You're the one that's got the words of life. That's all in the Gospel of John. I want to read this to you again. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 24. It says, And when he had given thanks, this is the night before he was crucified, he broke it, talking about the bread. See, when, when he said, Eat my flesh and drink my blood, uh, he was talking about believing in him. So that's what we're uh, doing here today. Receiving communion, we're stating our faith, what we believe. He said, take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you, this do in remembrance of me. Hallelujah. Okay, so I'm going to ask you if you would please uh, take the bread in your hands, stand to your feet, and that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to confess our faith in his broken body. We have received it. About to uh, pronounce our faith. If you would just hold this up before God and say this with me. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the price you paid for me at Calvary. You took stripes on your back so I could be delivered from the power of sickness and disease. You became poor so that I could be made rich. You became a curse so I could be redeemed from the curse. You died physically so I could be raised physically. Lord Jesus, I give you the glory, the honor, and the praise that is due your mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. Now, if you would please take the cup in your hand. Say this with me. Lord Jesus, I believe my faith is in your shed blood. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for paying the price at Calvary for all my sins to be washed away. I declare I am a new creature in Christ Jesus. I have eternal life. Lord Jesus, I state before God and man, I will rule and reign with you throughout eternity. We bless you and give you glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. God is going to, Pastor Sheree is going to come and share some important things with us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank God for his sacrifice.
sacrifice. Amen. I was just reading in there uh, this weekend in John. So we're so thankful for Jesus' sacrifice. The mystery has been unfolded. Praise the Lord. Oh, I think I lost oh, there. I thought I lost my announcements, but they're hiding. Praise the Lord. Well, we just want to take a moment on this beautiful day, right? God is watering the earth today, so we're thankful for that. But if you're visiting us for the first time at Faith Landmarks, would you lift up your hands so we can just say welcome? And we want to give you a Connect card from uh, our service attendants. It just marks your visit. And we want to invite you into our Connect room out here in the Narthex right after the service. There'll be people there to greet you. And... Um, just invite you to come back, answer questions, maybe have some refreshments. Amen. All right. And we have, while you guys are standing up, we have a brand new Bible reading sheet for the month of May called Reference Points. Praise the Lord. There's a Bible blurb on here, just something to encourage you and kind of focus a little bit this month as we read through the Bible. Praise the Lord. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word, every word has life in it. Praise the Lord. And when you read it and you take it in, it brings life to your body, to your brain, to your emotions, to every part of you. Thank you, Lord. Amen. All right. Also, we want to welcome you that are joining us online today. We ask, we've got a brand new website, folks. Check it out, faithlandmarks.org. We'd like for you to sign up there so you uh, can be aware of meetings, things that are going on. We have job openings. We have a career tab that you can click on. See all the uh, places where we're looking for help. Uh, it's quite extensive. Check it out. Uh, mostly in our education area. So please uh, take a look at that. Amen. Let's see. What else? Bible school. We have a Bible school, a two-year Bible school that you can take online. And uh, so you check that out just at any time. You can go online and take those. And then we have um, membership classes. So if you'd like to become a member of the church, then you can uh, come to an on-site class. The next one is on May the 19th. But uh, you can also take the class online as well. Amen. You know, Jesus' mission on earth, God's program has never changed. And so God's program is the local church. He set up this structure for people to have covering, protection, for them to be able to work together, to accomplish goals for the kingdom. And then once, and then never forget where you read in the scripture, Jesus looked out over the crowd and had compassion on them because they were like a sheep without a shepherd. That hasn't changed. In 2024, it's still needed in a person's life to be a part of a local church. So we hope you'll check that out. Amen. So today is Victory Sunday. Praise the Lord. So we're so excited. I think you can see some of the new things going on out here with our little preschool playground. Uh, we're, we're, you know, we're making progress for a water line to get out to the ball field. We're already using part of the ball field for our soccer academy. We have at our school. But I just want to say to you, if you have not yet received uh, your building campaign information, or maybe you want to put this in the bucket, uh, you haven't made a commitment yet, but you'd like to, um, go ahead and raise your hand so they can give you one of these. I think Pastor handles uh, the details of all the other. I'm just the announcer. Amen. <laughs> So the FLMF, the Faith Landmarks Ministerial Fellowship, is having their annual ice cream social. So it's a great event, yep, for you to come out this Friday night, May the 10th at 7 o'clock. It's going to be in the youth building. And so we want to say Ron Bruce is going to be here uh, bringing the message. And I know it's going to be uh, so beneficial to you, encouraging and inspiring. So anyone is invited to come, please register so they know how much ice cream. That's the big deal. How much ice cream we need to bring. <laughs> media workers need it. And you can go to media at faithlandmarks.org. 
www.ghostdoctor.org and we have all the services listed where we need help. Now you don't need to have any experience. We will train you and believe me, uh, it's thrilling actually to learn a new skill. Man, if you're sitting around thinking, you know, I need to challenge myself to learn something new, learn how to run sound, learn how to run presentation. And uh, so sign up, let them know you'd like to get involved. Now, you've been hearing about FLAA. FLA, with one A, is our Christian Academy. FLAA was Academy of the Arts. It was a little bit a tongue twister, so we are changing it to, and so from now on, you'll hear us talk about Faith Landmark Skill Center because we're having all these different classes, painting classes, electrician classes, uh, just real estate is coming up and uh, also um, will and trust classes are coming up. Real estate, the next one is going to be on Friday, June the 7th in the youth building. And this will be uh, learn about from a licensed real estate agent, whatever you might need as far as the ins and outs of buying a home, selling a home, uh, making a wise investment. Um, they'll talk to you about that. And then also learn about will and trust leaving a legacy behind. So on Friday, June the 7th in the youth building, we'll also be having a will and trust class for those of you who would like to take that. Men's fellowship are gonna faith night at the diamond. So um, calling all men, have some fun, bring somebody, fellowship with some guys who really need to know Jesus. And that's gonna be coming up on Saturday, May the 18th, Saturday night is the game. Now, we told you about our outreach schedule for the summer, uh, and these are all the dates. So when you leave today, please go by the tables out there and pick up a sheet and has all of the dates and what we're going to do and what is needed to help out this summer with Rebuild America. We've got quite a few things going on. Uh, Longdale Elementary, we've got some things going on right here at Faith Landmarks and reaching our neighborhood and letting people know we're here and what we do. Amen? All part of our vision to grow, bringing families to the church. Amen? All right. And uh, let's see, Faith Landmarks Academy graduation is coming up on May 31st at 7 p.m. And that'll be right here in the sanctuary. Our own school will be having their graduation. And then, uh, once again, I just wanted to remind you, take a look at our new website, faithlandmarks.org. There's so much more on there now. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Pastor Cherie. <laughs> Glory to God. Let's go ahead and stand to our feet, if you would, please. I'm going to take, uh, ask you to take a moment and just bless the Lord like this. Hallelujah. Yeah, it should become a regular part of your life. Blessed be the name that is above every name. Hallelujah. God is good. Okay, so while you're standing, before you're seated, I want to send you on a little campaign. Uh, if you would uh, go and find, see if you can find about five people that you have not greeted yet today. Love and bless on them. Tell them it's a great thing you're here today and then have a seat. Thank you, Sound Ministry. Glory to God. Okay.
So uh, while you're being seated, not trying to drive you to your seats, but uh, we want to, uh, first of all, just make sure that if you, uh, it was only a week ago that we did Commitment Sunday. Okay, so if you uh, don't have one of these, haven't gotten one, like to have one, just hold your hand up in the air and we'll be glad to put one in your hand. Now, uh, we do put the commitment card inside and the, it's self-explanatory on how you fill that out. And one of the things that we're emphasizing this year is 100% participation. There's a supernatural thing that happens when everybody gets together. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about that again today. But in the meantime, uh, you, you can and should be filling out your commitment card and turning it in. Then we'd like to also make sure that every person in the room that wants one, needs one, uh, one of our offering envelopes, just hold your hand up in the air and the uh, service attendants will be glad to put this in your hand. Hallelujah. Just like this, nice and high. Hallelujah. God is good. Hallelujah. Praise the name that is above every name. Got a passage here that I'd like to read to you. This is in 2 Corinthians chapter 9. And it's talking about a giving program. It's actually a stewardship campaign that the Apostle Paul started in the Gentile world. Basically, you know, uh, all of those people got saved. They were all formerly pagans. And uh, the only thing about worship that they knew to do was to uh, bring uh, an offering to their temples. Okay, which was, uh, wow, you know, not exactly the same thing that you would expect. But nevertheless, the Apostle Paul wanted to get them, they were, they were now coming to church. You know, one of the things that happened in the uh, times of the early church when the people, you see, all of the people got saved... And so then they, they said, well, let's just use these idol temples as the place where we gather to worship. And so part of that is what the Apostle Paul was, was uh, speaking to in uh, First and Second Corinthians. He was uh, teaching them about bringing weekly uh, their offering to the Lord. Okay, and he had already instituted, and then what they were doing is they were pooling it up, appointing people to take the offering to Jerusalem to minister to the saints that were there. Hallelujah. So uh, I'm going to read a little bit of this to you. 1 Corinthians chapter 9. 2 Corinthians, I should say, chapter 9. He says, but this I say, he which sows, sows sparingly shall also reap sparingly. He which sows bountifully shall reap bountifully. Very similar to what Jesus said in Luke 6, 38. Every man according as he purposes in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loves a cheerful, prompt to do it right now giver. Yeah, that's an amplified version added in there just a little bit. Praise the Lord. God is good. Okay, so uh, you might still be working on your offering, but if you would, whatever form it's in, please stand to your feet. We're going to tithe, first of all, with our mouths. Then we're going to bring all the tithes into the storehouse. If you would, say this with me. Lord Jesus, you're my high priest. I bring my tithe to you to worship my heavenly Father as it is specified in the Old Testament. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for taking my tithe, worshiping my Father with it. Heavenly Father, I call you my source. And thank you, Heavenly Father, for opening the windows of heaven over my head, pouring out abundance into my life. I'm acting on your word by faith in Jesus' name, amen.